Hi guys, this is Maria. Thank you for being here in this, your channel. I just finished filming my social media or really YouTube and Planner of Planners Hobonichi Weeks. And I think this will be the last, um, hopefully, uh, Hobonichi Weeks that I share with you in this channel before I do my actual like Hobonichi Weeks lineup or should I wait to do my entire lineup? I just don't want to overwhelm. Um, just please know that I mean, this is what my channel is about, right? I love planning. I love teaching. So I just, you know, I do my thing through planners. So um, it is a hobby and um, you don't have to have this many planners, but I really do have find a way to use them functionally. And sometimes some work, some don't. And, you know, just that's just something that happens. And sometimes I switch to I decide to switch it in the middle of the year, sometimes two months in, whatever that may be. I just know it's my hobby and it's totally okay to do that for me, but you don't have to go out and get any of this items, okay? Um, so here I'm sharing another idea. You can do it in any planner, um, but here is my passport cover. Um, this is the pale pink cover and I decided to put it in here. My, what do you call this? Oh my gosh. I know it's from Liberty Fabrics. I forgot the name. I totally did. Um, but it's a whole two weeks and oh, it's probably here. But anyway, um, I did see it from another YouTuber where she placed it with this beautiful pale pink cover. And I just thought they looked adorable. Like I had to, I just needed it in my life. Um, so I decided to just like go ahead and make it my own. Like this is just going to be my Can I, I don't even know, like, is it wellness? Because I have a health one, you know? I don't, this is like covering my overall feelings. It's mental health more than anything. Um, and I'll tell you, like, where I got my ideas from. But I'll actually try and link the person that actually hauled these two together. And I absolutely loved it. Not my idea, definitely not. They were matched so perfect that I was like, oh my gosh, I have to. Okay, anyway, I got this from Busy Bee Planners. Absolutely am obsessed with her stickers. And it, this one is a Happy Planner sticker from a sticker value pack. Forgot which one. Um, it says, I'll Dream Yourself. And then I have some stickers from Rainbowholic Shop. More Happy Planner stickers. Everything you can imagine is real. And she's a dreamer and doer and thinker she sees possibility everywhere i'm trying to stay positive you know and uh i have currently started this journal you know or i guess it's a journal i'm gonna have to call it a journal so um good vibes another sticker from rainbow holic's shop and this one right here is from shine sticker studio i just think it looks beautiful and i'm going to skip this, oh, actually, no, I haven't started this one, but this is just going to be for my husband and I relationship. So I cannot share the other monthly because it's just private stuff for my husband and I. And then I bought these sticker kits. I forgot the shop name. So I'll put it here on the screen. And then um, I just love how beautiful they look and kind of vintage -y in a way, which I kind of love about this planner as well. And so it's super cute. Um, so these monthlies are set up and they're good to go. And it's just going to be just anything I want about my husband and I, um, or anything about me, you know, <laughs> mostly. Um, so going to the first week right here, I got this from, I wrote it even here, Joy to Plan, thank you for three wins. I don't know where she got the idea. I think she mentioned where she grabbed that idea from, but I first saw it with Joy to Plan. I really enjoy watching her health planner, I think she calls it. This for me is more my mental health planner and just wellness. I don't know what I should call it, but I really wanted to... have a place where I can write like my my feelings and give credit to myself as well and then just kind of track my mood and I could have done it in any other planner but I wanted a big visual like this I grabbed these stamps from Snickoslav I think I always get it right oh my gosh yes and so it's a stamp and I decided to use this like mild liner um blue and pink to denote like 
if it's blue, that means that was, those were my feelings or my mood in the morning. And then pink in the PM. So AM, PM mood. It took me a while to figure this out, but I finally figured it out because I needed a place where I can track. I'm just in different... I'm a different person at work too, you know. I have to keep it professional and there's different events that happen there that change my mood as well as with my family, right, in the afternoon. So I just kind of decided to do it that way. And um, yeah, this is this is pretty good. I am really enjoying this. And then on this side, from Joy to Plants, I got three wins. So wherever, like, I had a win during the day, even if it's a simple one, and I love that she said it does... I mean, it could be as simple as like you took a bath that day, a bubble bath to relax. Like something for me or something that I did that brought that positive positivity to my day. So anyway, so for example, uh, Monday the 29th, we actually came back from uh, November break at work and I do teach third grade and I felt successful. It was a successful, successful teaching day. And if you're a teacher, you probably understand what I'm saying with that. Like there are days where like you feel like, yeah, you did amazing and everything, but there's like this feeling of like I could have done more. Well, for me, it's like every day. I always think like I could do more. I could do more. And there are these rare days when like the day went by so fast and you were successful. You covered everything in your lesson plan. Like, you know that moment? Yeah, that was a moment on Monday. And it was just after a break. So it was kind of cool to feel that way. And then um, I absolutely dislike getting COVID tested every weekend, but it has to be done. And the fact that I did it was a win for me. And then... Um, I did some Hobo Weeks journaling, which felt amazing, and those were my three wins. And then on the notes, I just put Joy to Plan. Thank you for the three wins idea, basically. And uh, here in notes, uh, she does a total different thing, but I just, I really don't know exactly what I want to write. I've written different things like that I consider was like a main event that could have triggered a mood change. Um, so that's that, and so I did that. I set it up for like the entire month of December just so I can test out if I oh maybe I did even further oh yeah I did all the way to oh my goodness look at that I'm amazing like that <laughs> that should be my win for today yeah so second week into February and I honestly love, okay, another thing, maybe that's why I did it. Another thing Joy Tuplan did, and I forgot her name, um, was that she actually said her entire year. And I think that's one of like, that's a great idea. Like I wish I would have thought of that before, especially when it comes to like my health journal, which I've actually shared here in the channel. I'll try and link it down below. Um, I am going to attempt to um, set this up for the entire year because I kind of just was waiting to work with December so that I can figure out the setup that I like the most and what will work for me and then just move forward with that. So that being said, I think as soon as I figured that this worked and I really loved it this week. I really, really did. So going into next week, um, and I think I will upload this maybe Wednesday, Thursday. I'm not sure how I will do uploads this week because I do have a lot of content ideas and I might just upload daily. Who knows if I have time to edit, but whenever you see it, um, I am filming this on Sunday the 5th. So um, for next week, I will keep this same format. It was so easy to fill out. It took me not even a minute to fill like, a note, three wins, and just color in my mood for a.m. and p.m. Super cool. And again, the monthlies, I kind of like what I'm doing for December. It's just tracking my relationship with my husband. And that's, you know, a big deal like with my family. Just relationships, you know, that could trigger a mood because I am a people pleaser. And so that's one of my biggest, like, gifts as well as detriment in my life because I feel like oh my gosh like because I want to please people and make people happy and I'm a giver sometimes it just drinks and sucks the life out of me you know and sometimes I need to just back up and say no I cannot or you know what no I'm not giving you this or yeah I know where you can get it from instead of saying yo here you can have it and then I end up buying it for myself again I seriously do that all the time all the time, like all the time, 
I can't even tell you how many times I've done that. So anyway, I will leave this in here for tomorrow. I'm using this beautiful um, sidewalk. Um, what is it? Pencil board. And I love it. I think it goes perfect in here. So I would just leave it in here for that. And then let's go ahead. I should have gone this way, huh? Sorry. <laughs> um, let's go back to the notes pages. I kind of figured some things I want to, to do. And I started with page one, reading logs. And seven, I have book reviews, 15 TV tracker, and then a movie tracker. So we'll see if I use them. I just wanted to have them. And um, I forgot to put this one page 26 i haven't logged this in but anyway let me show you i do have um a shop that i grabbed these printables from and i quite can't remember so i'll put it here um this one i do this is just any of printables and it's just a reading log and then a reading review at the back this is why i don't like stickers the whole stickers in my home and it's so hard to turn them and believe me, it's not my nails. This is all the time. Like, just have to be super careful when I open them. Um, whereas if I was just using no stickers, or not not no stickers, like a couple of stickers, just easier to flip through them than, look, this one cannot even flip. Um, but the setup is perfect so i like i don't want to do all of these lines you know so my goal is to read a little bit more i don't know if it's going to happen actually i didn't even read one book this year that's how bad it was so the goal is that i should be reading a little bit more and then here from yesenia printables as well uh, book title author notes and then the rating for the book and completed um book um checklist or even date and then I left a couple of pages for that. Not many because my goal is to read, honestly, at least five books <laughs> from zero to five. So anyway, then I have a TV tracker, just like show network. And this was an Etsy shop. I just don't remember. And I'll put it up here. If I don't, just remind me if you're interested, okay? Um, because it, it is a lot to find the links and post them. But if you're interested, I don't mind. Comment down below and let me know. If you like any of these, um, this is from the sh same shop, same shop. I just left a couple of space movie tracker. And then in the back, I decided to put this cute snapshots and they are from sweet kawaii design. It just says what I'm thinking, reading, listening, loving, hating, needing, wanting, eating, drinking, and planning. I should have like planning 5 million of those. But anyway, it has all of the months of the year. So I did um, go ahead and put them all back here all the way to December. There they are. Perfect. So that would be December 2022. And then I have, this takes me to page 38 right here, which I actually was thinking I showed in my last video. I don't know which one I will upload first, my social media or this one, but I was showing these right here. Um, and this is where I kind of wanted to use these here as like journal trackers for my journals like did I do my girls, Camila's journal, Sophia's journal, my daily journal? Have I used my creative journal? Just kind of like, because I have so many, sometimes it's just hard to get to all of them. And I just kind of like a tracker or an accountability piece that will keep me there. And since this is more like a place for me to like do movies and track my feelings and just, it's a me planner, you know? That's what I'll name it, my me planner. So I thought maybe this would be good for here instead of my social media planner. So that's why I have not stickered them in any planner yet. I could easily remove them because they're vinyl stickers, but I don't want to do that. I kind of just want to stick them. Or maybe I'll just order a new set and do it on both. You know what? I think that's what I'll do. Because I really, maybe I can just, I technically have, let me see, I just filmed this one. Hopefully I'm not spoiling it. I am not of this one. I have these like that I can show on social media and I won't be doing any flip throughs of these, but I could technically do fill, flip throughs of these on the top. So maybe I can do like habit trackers for this and then this on this one. I don't know. 
I will think about it. I will be placing an order um, this coming Thursday because she'll have new releases and I want to check out what she has. And then maybe I'll sneak this in there and just order a new set just so I can have it, you know? Okay, so technically my setup, I guess, is not fully done in these two planners, but at least the idea is there of what I'm doing with it. Um, so, yeah, that's that's this planner right here i don't think it'll bulk up that much just because i will be stamping and just using pen most of the time and the only stickers i use were for the monthlies um yeah if you're interested to know where i got any of the stickers or anything that i showed you today please let me know do not hesitate and ask me in the comments um if i forgot to like note any shop that you're interested in i know it's a little bit more painful to comment about that but honestly it'll help me and that way i don't have to write like I'm already thinking like there's like five shops that I use here that I don't want to link all of them unless you're interested. That's a lot to say. Please comment down below. Let me know what you need. Okay, that was a lot. That's super annoying. Okay. <laughs> all right guys well that's all i have here i don't think i put anything in the back no i didn't um and i absolutely love it that's all i have for you guys hopefully this helped you gave you a new idea maybe you have an extra hobonichi weeks or an extra just notebook that you want to use you can definitely give it a try and see if it works out for you where you can track your mood or maybe you can put three wins wins or every even one win you know that you have that day like you know what it was a win that I'm getting up tomorrow morning and going to work. Like sometimes that's just a win, you know, just getting up from bed and heading to work because my mood and our mood and things that are happening in the world can it shift that all the time. And it's so hard to do life, you know? So just think about what you can use, any notebook, any, like even Dollar Tree has beautiful like notebooks that you can use. Doesn't have to be this one. Just if you want to give it a try and test it out, go for it. Um, let me know if you're trying anything or if you have new ideas for me to implement in this planner. I am excited that you were here. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, I will appreciate a thumbs up. And guys, like always, God bless. Goodbye.